Oh yeah, um, this video is just going to be me giving a quick run through of my RC2014 sound card. Um, it's based on the uh, AY sound chip, although you can also use a YM2149 uh, uh, as they're both pin compatible. Um, uh, that's the, It's the sound chip that's used in the Atari ST and the ZX Spectrum 128 and other assorted arcade machines. Um, so just having a quick look at uh, what components are on the board, uh, you've obviously got the uh, AY itself, um, address decoding over here on the left which is 74HCT138, uh, you've got some jumpers to adjust the base address, um, some NAND gates which are used to combine the signals to assert the right um, uh, BC DER and BC1 signals on the AY and then finally uh, 74 HCT 74 flip flop which is used to divide the RC2014's clock down to below the 2 MHz which is the max that the, uh, the AY supports uh, and then here we've got some resistors which are used as like a, um, a network to turn the three AY channels into uh, a, two, a stereo kind of signal. Um, so the AY supports three sound channels and one noise channel and you've got envelopes and volumes and mixers and stuff like that that you can uh, you can also adjust. Okay so to demonstrate the RC2014 sound card um, I've got this quick basic program. Uh, so what this basic program does is it just plays like a descending pitch of notes. Um, so the way the AY chip works is first of all you write to the um, address port, the register that you're interested in, i.e. like mic volume or pitch or envelope or something like that. Uh, you write to that specifying the register you're interested in and then you specify the value. Uh, so we set the volume up and then just write descending pitch values to it. Um, so if I just fire up the RC2014 um, I've got Filippo's uh, modified ROM which has got a built in hex loader but unfortunately it prints this bit of garbage out but that doesn't really matter too much um, so I'll just set the character delay uh, and if I upload this program and run it You'll see you get you'll hear you get that uh, descending note. Um, so obviously that's not very exciting. Uh, so we'd like to play an actual tune. Um, so uh, Sergey Bulba has written a player for Pro Pro Tracker tunes. Uh, this is his player routine. Um, so uh, there's like loads of Pro Tracker tunes, Spectrum Pro Tracker tunes available. Uh, there's loads on ZX Art. Uh, there's also ZX tunes as well. Um, so basically, I've been playing these tunes on the RC2014. Um, so I've uh, I've modified the player routine just for the address. Uh, you include the tune that you want to play. Uh, you into the uh, thing, into the program. Um, if I just then uh, assemble that, I've got a make file that assembles that. That spits out an Intel hex file. Um, we can then load that Intel hex file into the RC2014. Um, so if I pick uh, hex loader mode uh, and now paste that in, uh, it should uh, eventually play the tune. It's quite a long process uploading this. Uh, it takes quite a few seconds, so I'll probably pause the video here. Uh, then what we do is um, uh, we have to specify just uh, poke the address of the uploaded stuff into memory and then call it basically and the tune plays. Thank you. 